Hello, I believe I have found out the most easy way to run LLMs on your local systems in Windows. And that easy way is LM Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download, install this LM Studio, and then how you can download and then run these LLMs, which are open source from Hugging Face or even somewhere else on this LM Studio. It's very easy to configure and it's very easy to install. And I believe these sort of products are going to shape up how we see generative AI going forward. So let's get right into it. I am on their website already, which is lmstudio.ai. As you can see it on my browser. Once you are there, you can either download it for Mac or for Windows. I am on Windows and this is my local laptop. So let's start with the Windows one. So click here and then it will start downloading. The size is also just 402 MB. It is not huge considering the amount of work this will be doing for us. So let's wait for it to finish. And while this happens, you can see that um, on their website, they're telling us that you can run LLMs on your laptop entirely offline. And then you can use the models through the in-app chat UI and or in the open AI compatible local server. And I'll show you shortly how to do that. And our download is almost done. Let's wait for it to finish. Download is done. Let me open the file. Let's click on it. It is going to open the installer, which is simply the XE file. And by the way, I'm um, my laptop has only one GPU, so you can go with either. You can even install it in any of the cloud, like on AWS EC2 instance, or if you're using Google Cloud, then maybe uh, Google's virtual machine. It is still loading. Let's wait. Okay. So these are the release notes which you can read. Close it. And then you can see that this is, uh, I think I opened two wi windows. So let me close this one. So that's it. You don't even have to click any next, next, next. So let's close this X here. Maybe I'll just bring it down. And you can see that this is the whole interface. So if you want to search any model, all you need to do is to type here and it will search it. And there are some noteworthy models which it is showing you, open orca and all that stuff. Let me play with the Mistral one. So let's type Mistral and then press enter or click go. It is searching and you can see that it already has given us a lot of variants of Mistral here. Uh, as you already know, I'm a huge fan of blocks, so maybe I will use one of the blocks one. And there are a lot of others too, you can see that. Um, and the 95 and then we have Nexus Senex and a lot of these which you can search. Now you can um, search it with most downloads, but you can filter it by compatibility guess. You can even connect to the Hugging Face Hub too. So, but let's not do it. Let's go with the default. So click on the Mr. All 7B instruct. It's already there. And now on the right hand side, it has the different available uh, files for this. Let's use the Q5 because that is one of the fastest one. This one, and the size is also 5K. So all you need to do is to click on download on the right hand side. Let's click here and you can see that it has started downloading in the uh, bottom half of the windows. Scroll down a bit. Okay, I think there you go. So let's wait for it to finish. And it, it is telling you how many you can download and how many are completed. So let's wait for this one to finish. It is almost done. And as you can see that the model is downloaded. Now we can play around with it. On the left hand side, you can see this menu. If you click on this chat icon, the third one, then on the top, load your model which we have just downloaded missed all instruct and it is loading the model and then once it is downloaded you can start chatting with it on the right hand side there are various um, sort of um, defaults or configurations like if i click on model configuration it is uh, telling us what are the inference parameter 
which has randomness and a uh, lot of other things which we already aware of and I have done few videos around it and then there are also some hardware settings that if you want to enable GPU acceleration what is your pre-prompt system prompt you can configure it your prompt format or template you can also select your own here cool okay so now let's chat with our Mistral model which has been downloaded and if you want to remove it you can simply click on eject model here Okay, so once uh, the first time it might not show you the chat one. So for that, just click here and it will drop it down the bottom window and then you can type your message here. So maybe I will ask it what is the capital of Australia? And let's wait for it. It is talking to your local model right now. And we don't have to worry about downloading or, you know, worrying about your hosted model. So there you go. And you can see in real time it is telling you your CPU consumption at the top and your RAM usage, which is amazing. And the answer is perfectly right. Maybe I will give it another bit of a complex task here. So let me give it a scenario one. You're an expert in bathroom renovations and renovate the following old bathroom. Think about it. Um, I have a 25 year old house with an old bathroom. I want to renovate it completely. Think about it step by step and give me steps to renovate it. Let's see. And I'm also asking it to give me the cost of every step in Australian dollars. So let's see what it does. It is processing it. And again, you can see your resource consumption at the top. Amazing stuff. I mean, really, really impressed with this. And within 20 25 second it has already started producing the output and you can see it is a bit slow as it is um i think my memory is still a bit low but still it's a laptop and you would imagine that this would happen now let's imagine you have your own company server you might have put it your uh, in your data center or in the cloud and you have installed this lm studio you are hosting this llm there and then the whole company is using it from the endpoint and i'll show you how you can do that too shortly amazing stuff so you can see that it is giving me all the steps and it is giving me the cost too with every step and if you want to stop this um, inference and output generation you can simply click here on stop generating so let me stop it now let us let's ask it another question right up Python program to reverse a list. Press enter. Let's see what it does. And I'll keep the video running just to show you the response time. So you can see within five seconds, it was able to return me the response. And let's see how accurate that response is. So there you go. It is um, writing us a program, which seems pretty correct to me. Yep, minus one. That's cool. Awesome. So that's a correct one. Now, if you want to start a server so that other people would be uh, able to access this model through your LM Studio server, all you need to do is to, on the left hand side, click on this uh, double headed arrow. And then you already have your model loaded at the top. And then this is our local inference server. And this is our server port 1234. So whatever your IP or FQ10, FQTN or your server name is, colon 1234 is, will be your port. So just click here, start server, and it has started the server. And you can see that it is saying that HTTP server is listening on port 1234. And you can access it through your local host. If you, you can also replace this local host with your IP or with your uh, FQDN or server name. So if you want to do the inference on this, all you need to do is simply either use this curl command where you are specifying your host. And then if you want to do chat completion or if you want to just pass on the prompt, you can do this in in your API. And there, there are other um, endpoints too, like this with the get method or with post method for chat completions or just for simply for completions. And if you want to check the log, they are here in the temp directory. Let me also show you the log. This is my server's temp directory where I have the log. So if you open it, these are all the logs. So you can troubleshoot if you want, if there is some issue. And um, 
this comes very handy if you have multiple models running and if you have server running too and if you want to stop it just click on stop and it will stop it if you want to look at all of your models just click on this last option of the folder icon and there you have all of them um, in the in one place and you can filter them out and then you can play around and you can even delete it from here just to save cost so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you want to know more about it like their uh, github their discord i would highly suggest that you go there a lot of cool information and one last thing i would want to reiterate it supports all the llama falcon mpt star coder replete gpt neo x models on hugging face um, and this list will keep growing i'm more than sure so pretty cool i would say very impressed by it and make sure that if you have installed it you always check for updates whenever uh, periodically so that it, you would stay up to date i hope that you loved it if you are stuck somewhere if you need any more clarification please put it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much